All you want to do is run through there, and that should boom! <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Let's Stay Out of Survival. Today we return, the shipwreck is returned. I actually wanted to do this uh, video yesterday, but yesterday I could not get the shipwreck to spawn. But today, what I want to do, I brought a couple of weapons here as backup in case the plan goes south. But I think that I have figured out a very good way of doing the shipwreck event. One that does not even involve the use of uh, weapons. Although a weapon would come in handy. I'm going to try, like, I'll use the machete. Technically speaking though, you don't need it. The one problem will be the fast biter that spawns, but other than that, you can actually do this, technically speaking, without a weapon. So I hope you guys had an absolutely fantastic day, and I hope you guys are ready for some wrecked ship shenanigans. The way that I like to do this is as soon as you spawn in, the number one thing you wanna do, and this is a thing that, this is why I said I don't think you need the machete to do, but as soon as you get to this explosive barrel, man, you can actually punch the explosive barrels to death. Now, I'm just gonna use the machete to speed it up, right? But technically speaking, you don't even have to use this. You have to watch out for the zombies that spawn. But you can see, I can do some damage and okay. You wanna bring each and every barrel as close to 20 as possible to start. So one more hit on the barrel will cause an explosion. That is how you succeed in this game. Ugh. There we go, let's do that. You also wanna make sure to aggro everybody while you're at it. So just kind of run around the map, make sure everyone's coming your way. Be like, hello, zombie bros. It is I. Come to me. It is Star. But there we go. All the barrels are just as weak as they should be. We can aggro all these guys. We want to group them up to all be in as close of a vicinity as possible. All these explosive barrels are affected the way I wanted them to be. Uh, you want them to be absolutely as close as possible, right? Because this is going to be what comes in handy. So, oh, there's the fast biter. Okay. So we want to take out the fast biter. This dude's annoying. We want to get these guys here. Okay. And then as soon as they're coming this way, you want to hit that thing. It's going to be running. Get your booty all the way over here. All those zombies should be dead and start looting this thing right away. This should buy you some time. You do not want to do that until the fast biter spawns. Because if the fast biter spawns, well, then you're kind of screwed because the fast biter will come and kill you know, hit you while you're opening this. So you don't want to do that. That's why you want to take out the fast biter. And as you can see, we got more than enough time to open up this chest. So boom shakalaka chest one completed. Beautiful. I know. Is the loot beautiful? Actually, that's surprisingly good loot. But yeah. So I don't even have to use a gun for this. That's how amazing this is. And I really hope this is going to be a lot more helpful to you guys. I know a lot of early game people said like, I was getting a lot of comments saying like, Star, this event's way harder. Like, if you guys use the right tactics, which hopefully I'll be able to teach you here, you can legitimately do this event with just a melee weapon. You could even do it with your fists if you're patient enough. There's the fast biter. So this is going to be us wanting to do step two here. Let's bring these guys over to this one. Is this the one that we opened, right? Oh, no, that isn't. That isn't. Okay, that is not the one. We may have just messed that up by opening that, but uh, there we go. Let's just activate that thing. I'm going to let that blow them up. And hopefully I didn't do this out of order. But let's start looting this thing. I may have messed that up, though, by accidentally looting that. We might be fine. But I think what happens is after you start looting a chest, the zombies will spawn in. But by the looks of it, it is looking okay. You just, like I'm saying, you gotta watch out for the one fast biter. But we got another chest coming our way, baby! And all we're using is a machete. And like I said, you guys can use other melee weapons, too. I'm just using the machete because I have... Ooh, a weapons crate. I just like using the machete because I have a good amount of machetes just literally lying around. I actually have a good lot of everything lying around, not gonna lie about that. Uh, but, ooh, dude died here. Isn't there one more explosive? Oh yeah, we still got a couple explosive barrels around these parts. There is our fast biting friend. Now the problem here is, yeah, I want these guys to come over here a little bit quicker. They're taking their sweet time, so this might be bad. I just want to group them all up, okay, and then we'll hit the explosive barrel, run on the other side. Timing-wise, this may be an issue, but hopefully all goes well. I, I, the, I'm worried that that fast biter might spawn in a bit too quickly. But as you guys can see, we're knocking out the shipwreck event pretty well. Now, I don't want to jinx this last one, especially because last time this was the crate that had the best loot, and you guys can already see those zombies are coming in, but I think we can barely make it just because we're on the other side of the crate. Oh, no, this is going to be close. It's going to be a buzz. We're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. No! Ah, that's okay. So, yeah, I did kind of mess that up there by waiting a little bit too long. So, you want to make sure to use the explosive barrels that are closest to the crates you want to blow up. So, I kind of messed that up 
a wee bit there, laddie. A little wee bit there. Because, uh... <laughs> uh, because I blew up the one that was close to that barrel. So what I can do instead is you guys can uh, kind of kite this here. Because what you want to do is you just want to make sure that after you explode the barrel, everyone, like, you, you don't even want to worry about bringing the zombies through. You want the zombies to run straight through the path, so this is perfect scenario of that. Not even going to worry about that. Going to let them blow up and going to start looting this thing. Going to be on this side again. So usually the zombies spawn on, like, the right slash right north. I, I'm using the wrong. The uh, east slash northeast side of the map. So we're, whenever you're positioning yourself relative to the crates, just make sure you're kind of positioning yourself like this. And like I said, you could do this with your fists. You just have to. Okay, yeah, this time we're going to make it for sure. But those that zombie is going to be getting suspiciously close. But alas, all is well. And we got some steel plates out of this boy. That's what I like to see. Last time I got no steel plates. And at this point, it's just a game of kiting the zombies, and you don't—you only have to deal with the fast spiders because they're the only ones that will actually keep up with you uh, if you let them. But other than that, there you have. And like I said, if you guys have a little bit more patience up your sleeve, you can do this with your fists because all you gotta do—I'll even demonstrate here, right? Because uh, I—I brought down the. All you gotta do is punch the barrels, because they will not like the barrels will ignite to blow up once they break. I believe it is 20. I think it's 20 or something like that, but for now... Oh, give me that wrench, dude. I didn't even notice the wrench the first time around. I'm grabbing some of the important things out of here. All right, I'll come back for the other things. No worries. And I actually want to show you guys that you can even use the trap. What is this? Ah, just a spike devastator. Uh, you can even use the shipwreck as a trap if you guys want to bring these guys down. But for now, I'm just going to let them continue their kite. This is a smaller horde of zombies than I expected. But I did want to show you guys that you can actually punch these barrels to death as dangerous as this sounds it is more than possible as soon as it hits 20 it'll ignite and all those zombies will blow up yay boom shakalaka boom is there more count no and they do respawn after every wave after a little bit but next wave i want to show you guys uh the uh, what should i call the shipwreck because the crate you know the crate that disastrously fell on us last time can actually be used uh to our advantage if we're smart enough. So first time around, I may not have been on the smart enough side, but that's okay. Because now, maybe I am. Who knows? Oh, God. Ah. All right. I just want to start cutting these guys. You can see. So usually, the next wave comes. What I've noticed is after you kill a good group of the last wave. So I'm just going to do the usual kind of rounding them up. Being the cowboy that I be. And yeah, let me know if you guys have even better strategies than this for uh, wrapping this up. This is just the best way that I've found to do it, and it's a way that doesn't even require you to have a gun, which I think will be super helpful for a lot of you guys who maybe don't have a huge supply of guns or might be early on in the game. But like I said, if you guys got a better idea or just better things that you guys personally do, please let me know in that comment section down below. And while you are at it, by letting me know in the comment section, it puts you a third of the way into the weekly $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. All I gotta do after that is make sure you like the com um, like the video, make sure you subscribe, and here, all you wanna do is run through there, and that should, boom! <laughs> Take out a couple of them. It's, it's not as exact of a science, because you do have to be a bit kinda bit wary like it, it takes it takes it a couple seconds to drop so it's kind of iffy but i think we got most of the good stuff out of here there are a couple machetes and some paint lying around i might just come back to get those because our inventory is a bit full uh our armor's about to bring yeah, I'll, I'll leave it on for now that's still quality armor oh god dude there's a there's a ton of ton of zombies coming from all directions all right why don't we flee for the time being there's more than plenty of time left for us to try to get through this. But like I was saying, uh, yeah, just make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you're subscribed as well. That'll enter you into the giveaway on today's video. You can enter in on every last day on Earth video. When Saturday rolls around, I'll go ahead. I'll pick a random video from the past Saturday to this upcoming Friday. And if the winning comment that I randomly pick is uh, what should McCall's fulfilled all the needs of all the other things, boom shakalaka, you're good to go. And you don't have to comment like below, you know, it's, like it's awesome if you guys do have any better ideas, but I know that this might be a good idea. Let me know what you think of it. Let me, let me know if maybe it works for you guys. At the end of the day, I just want to hopefully help you guys in your adventures, you know. I, listen, I don't mind to try and stupid things to potentially discover brilliant things, okay? Because A, half the things I try are naturally stupid, so I'm used to it. And B, 
Stupid things are fun to do. Uh, the deal- the healer was here earlier. Still have not gotten- like, you guys apparently told me that it is random in terms of the type of thing that he drops. Not the type of thing, but the type of, uh, not the type of ad. The type of bonus you can get. I still have not gotten the 20% melee boost in a while. Ever since the smuggler's camp ended, I have not gotten it from the healer, so I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead, put a couple of these things away. Unfortunately, my chests are getting really packed, so I, <laughs> I gotta make some more of these trunks. I'm starting to get enough steel, where honestly, that might not be the worst investment in the world. How many, how much does it take again for a trunk? It takes five steel bars, like, I got a good amount of steel bars, I just, I want to save them for, like, other things, you know? Oh, look at that, another one! And another one should be done soon, but, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some things away, and talk to you in a sec. Alright, now inventory is looking pretty alright here, so I don't mind moving forward with this, but, yeah, like, I, I'm more than happy to hear a lot of things in the comments, like, let me know what you guys think, actually, of my method of doing this here, if you guys have any improvements to it, please. I want, I want to collectively create. The perfect method of doing the shipwrecked update, so not, oh, not, no, the shipwreck event, not update. So all of us can do this thing as well as possible and use minimal resources to just continue bolstering the supplies we got back in storage. And, ooh, we got a chopper event, so I might take a small detour there. That thing's only got 14 minutes, though. That's all right, though, because I want to go here, though. Uh, I kind of want to use the pit seat. I don't want to use, eh. Well, we'll see which chopper event it- Oh, no, I'm not driving that far. I'm running over there first. You best believe I'm running there first, all right? I ain't using the gas unless I gotta use it. But yeah, like, let me know if you guys have any improvements to it. Let me know what you think of it, any of that jazz. And if you don't really, like, care about it that much, just let me know, hopefully, how amazing of a Saturday you're having. You know, what you guys got in store? I'm curious. I want to read what fun things you're doing because there's no fun in me, all right? The fun of my day is making these videos. That's why I try to have as much fun with them as possible. After that, I got to go work on schoolwork for like eight hours straight today because I got two assignments due. So uh, have pity on my soul, please, and tell me what fun things you're hopefully doing. I'd appreciate that. But uh, yeah, I just hope it's going to be fan freaking fantastic regardless of what happens. And okay, I like this. I like this event. I'm just scared because usually there's a shotgun involved. And shotguns do a lot of damage, so I might... Uh, I'll leave the band-aids on for now. These dudes are about to, like, betray each other, and then they're gonna try to kill us. If you guys don't know, that's how this event works. I just don't want to be too close. Like, I, I kind of want to witness the betrayal, but I don't want them to... Oh, God, yeah, dude, that dude is a... Oh, mama. Oh, mama. Not me. Don't hurt me. What have I done to you? I'm just scared, because that guy's got a shotgun. And shotguns hurt a lot. Okay, two of the dudes are dead. What's up, dude? Oh, I thought we could be friends. I just saved you from those people who shotgun rained your friend. All right. I should have been yelling shotgun rain along with them. I love this event, though. Every time I've done this specific chopper event, always, 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 there is a shotgun. Usually in kind of like poopy quality, not gonna lie. But a shotgun is a shotgun. I cannot complain about a shotgun, all right? Because the shotgun rain gods would not appreciate my complaints regarding them. Uh, cross your fingers. For, let's hope that we can get that scuba mask, the snorkel, and everyone in their moms talks about. I would, I would probably collectively poop my pants. I don't know why collectively, because I think that's assuming there's multiple of me. So yeah, like across dimensions. Like there's probably a dimension where I never become a YouTuber and I'm probably like working in an office. I will cause that version of me to poop myself along with me if I got it. And why does this pickup truck always have trash? Okay, well, not literal trash, because there's actually an item called trash in the game. But you guys know what I mean. Okay? I think you know what I'm talking. Th really? That's it? That's it? That's all that I'm gonna get? Alright, I thought I thought we were friends last day. Friendship with last day on Earth ended. <laughs> Anything? Eh. It's, uh, it's pretty lackluster, to say the least. I know I could have used those things to uh, refill that thing, but... Eh... I'll pass on that. All right, yeah, to steal the gas out of there. I got a good amount of gas, though. It's okay. I'm happy, though. Shotgun. That <laughs> Anytime there's a shotgun involved, and it involves it going to us instead of being used against us. Although, I guess it kind of... I guess today was both, because he, he attempted to use it against us, but he did not know that I am one of the messiahs of shotgun reign. I am the one who reigns the shotgun. <laughs> Uh, so we got 10 minutes left on this. I'm actually surprised because, uh, usually when you're on an event, the timer stops 
when you're on it. Uh, the shipwreck event is not that, because I, I actually ran over there uh, before I started recording this video, and I had like 50 minutes left on it. And after I left, you guys saw it was already at 13 minutes. So usually the timer only goes, at least for the chopper event, unless they change that recently, the timer usually only goes down if you're actually away from the event. So that is really interesting that that happened. I don't know why that happened, but it's spoopy. Maybe it's because I logged off in the middle of walking over there. I don't know, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and toss the rest of these goodies that we just got out of that awesome chopper run over into a chest or something. Then we'll head back to the shipwreck and have some fun with the rest of those explosive barrels. All right, we're gonna, I'll try punching him to death. How about that? All right, and the inventory is almost about good to go here. I just got to toss a couple of those stones away and actually do a little bit of the coal. I know I haven't mentioned this in a while, but if you guys aren't making coal with your wooden planks, please do. It's an amazing endless cycle that the coal just ends up being way more efficient than the wood even after you're done with it and it's kind of amazing. 10 wood planks to get you, what is it, 20 coal? And then six coal can burn down 10 wood planks. So pretty much after your first try, you're getting 14 coal. You're netting 14 coal for every 10 wood planks you put in after you kind of get that initial startup cost going, you know? And that coal is super helpful for things could be for aluminum bars. Uh, I have way more aluminum bars than I know what to do with, though. And wrenches, and a good amount of steel. I wish I had more, though, but... Listen, if you're... This is a lot of this, honestly. This is more from smugglers' events, and now the shipwreck event. Uh, I've gotten more steel bars and aluminum bars than from getting them out in the wild through, like, going to the uh, winter biomes and all that jazz. It's, it's honestly a lot better that way. I don't know. This will hopefully be a good to go pretty soon. We'll get some more steel going up in there because I feel like steel is going to be really useful going forward. Like, it's already really useful for getting, like, steel backpacks, but I feel like there might be even more uses coming, you know? I don't know. That's just me. I'm, I'm a dude who assumes, assumes positive things. It's, it's in my nature, I guess. I don't know. Let's hop back on this, though. Let's go over there. Let's finish up the rest of those explosive barrels. We don't have, and also grab the rest of the loot, so it's kind of a double whammy. Hey! Blow up zombies. Everyone's favorite pastime, and if it isn't, I question your sanity. And B, get some loot. You know, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good win, win in my book. I don't know. Yeah, I'll refill the energy, man. It's for a video. I don't mind it. And before you're like, oh, Star, why do you have 5,000 coins? You, I saw a couple of these comments last episode, so I guess it's about that time where I address it every couple weeks. So some, maybe you guys are new. Maybe you guys don't know that I, I've talked about this a couple times, but uh, the devs were kind enough to send me some coins because they're like, hey, this is to help you make videos. And I'm like, sweet appreciate it dudes and yeah so that's why i try to save them mainly for on video and a lot of it a lot of it i use for uh whatchamacallit just kind of fast traveling that type of jazz anyways yeah these zombies are here um where are the explosive traps isn't there one more or did i actually blow i may have blown up all the traps oh man i thought for sure there was like one more no there might be one more maybe no, I think we have gotten all the tra- Ah! Oh, well, it's okay. We don't really have to deal with these guys anyway. Like, we can deal with them if we really want to, but technically speaking, you can just kite them around. Like, if the fast biter shows up, eh, there might have to be a little bit more active of an effort put in, but you should be pretty good to go. Because once you get the crates open, you don't have to spend 30 freaking seconds of your life hoping that you don't die. Like, it'll just go straight up in your inventory. Uh, hard alcohol. That's another thing I actually want to stockpile. And oh yeah, the the next way. Ho ho! My God, they're converging on me from all directions. Holy hell! I wish I still had a trap to blow these guys up with, because there's like 20 zombies right here. Hot diggity dog! Woo! Not letting them get close to me. And I wish there was a weapon that let us do some freaking splash damage right about now, because that would be so useful. You know what else? I could just sledgehammer all these dudes to death for fun. Do we want- we haven't had enough sledgehammer in today, so tell with it- Ugh! Eat some cement on a stick, suckers! Holy hell, did you see that guy fly? I'm starting the zombie space program today! This is N NASA. N-A-Z-A. National... Zombie... Space race. Woo! I just don't want to get too close to that giant horde because then 50 of them will hit me at once- HOME RUN! Dude, the New York Yankees should sign me up. Oh, we got a backflip there. I should be an Olympic trainer while we're at it, too. I think the fact that they're in this horde actually makes, like, their explosions 50 times better. Ow. It's still painful, though. 
I see, I wonder if the horde ever actually stops. Oh, good job there, mate. I wonder if the horde ever actually stops coming. Oh, ow. Oh, God, they stripped me naked. That was efficient. Horrifyingly efficient, actually. <laughs> uh, it's all right. I actually got a couple. I, I don't No pantaloons, unfortunately. No pantalones today. That's okay. I wonder, is this the last wave? Because I think last time, this is what happened too. I got it down to like one giant horde. All blobbed up. Ow, there's still so many of them though. And they still can do a lot of damage if they all hit at once, but... I wonder! Will they stop spawning now? Will, will we have brought peace to the shipwreck event? I doubt it. That's the one thing I will doubt. The fact that we brought peace, but you never know. That might have honestly been the last wave. That might just be... The maximum amount of waves they send at you? I don't know. It's looking slightly promising so far. So promising. I'll eat some beans. And I actually want to eat those beans. Oh no, they're still coming. Yeah. So I think it's pretty safe to say I don't think that there's an end to these guys. I have a good amount of blue tape back at home, so I don't know if I want that. I mainly want the brewskis, dude skis. Uh, this is a really small one, though. This is just, like, a couple of them. Like, four zombies. Ho! 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 Oh, that one was less impressive. I don't know, man. You know? I don't know. I think we're good to go, though. I could actually... You know what I could do? I could just toss one of these extras, and then I could actually pick up, uh... I could just toss that in there. I gotta do... Oh, yeah, we got even more coming. I don't think they stop, unfortunately. So, if you're thinking of clearing this place out... No, you, you, it's this this event is largely based around time management, blowing up the zombies, hopefully using that tactic that I showed you guys, and from there, just making sure that you guys can, while you have that kind of window of immunity, not immunity, but no zombies being anywhere close to you, use that window to uh, capitalize. But other than that, I think that's a good point for us to actually go ahead and wrap up the video. Little bit on the shorter side today. But uh, I do have to head to class. Like I said, like I seriously have to spend, I'm about to spend like 10 hours of my life uh, doing school. So apologies, it is a little bit on the shorter side. But I hope that gives you another seven or eight minutes that you guys can spend doing something absolutely fan fantastic today. Uh, at least where I am, it's like surprisingly good weather. And I think for the next week, it's going to be cold again. So, uh, you know, do, do something, man. Do something. Buy a new pair of pantalones. I don't... Do, you do you. That's what I'm saying. But regardless of what you do, I'm wishing you nothing but the best. Nothing but the most fan freaking fantastic Nothing but the greatest of luck when it comes to joining the Chopper Squad. Getting that gas tank, however you're trying to get it. Best of luck in that giveaway. Can't wait to hear what you guys got to say in that comment section down below. And, uh, yeah, other than that, I'm going to go shopping for some Gucci pants here for my dude. He needs some quality pantaloons. And, uh, just kind of organizing the stuff as per usual. I'm excited to see what the next update has, man. I'm thinking, you know, if they had, like, a small update this time, maybe next update will be a bigger one. I'm looking forward to this weekend, man. I don't know. I'm hoping that we see some content. I'm hoping that we see some new, an event, another floor. Dude, it's been a while since we had a floor for the bunker, man. That's all that I'm saying. I'd love to go to another floor for the bunker. But, uh, yeah, for real, it's gonna wrap it up for me. Have yourselves a fantastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.